think it's none of your business, but I don't want you to think I'm triggered by you. I'm not. Okay. I saw somebody say that, and I think that's interesting. I think you're annoying, but I'm not <laughs> triggered. <laughs> I would say first that having multiple women is not the goal. I don't think that's a good goal for a young man. You know, I think working okay. on yourself completely and, and absorbing and having a lot of women come to you is a goal. Um, for example, like let's say that you're married and you have a loving relationship. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything in the world wrong with that at all. I but I want that for you and everyone. Well, person. too bad. That's not what I want. So that's my business, not yours. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, is that if I'm in a situation with a woman and she thinks she wants to leave because I have, let's say, more girl. Okay, cool. You can leave me for a man that you love less that will cheat on you anyway if he could. I'm not doing anything any other man would not do if he could. Maybe her husband could and doesn't. But, <laughs> you know, for the sake of the conversation, I think most men, if they could, would have the option of having multiple women. Now, it has also been my experience that I can only love one person at a time. And so, that said, there, there's, you know, I think there's only one spot in my heart as far as, you know, long-term commitment. And when I look mm -hmm. at long-term commitment, I look at protecting, providing, being there fully, emotionally, a person's best friend. I mean, ride or die, like, really there with them, even if they're upset or jealous. Can I ask you one more question? Fire away, honey. Okay. <laughs> um, if you have a place in only one place in your heart for one woman, or you want to have one woman in your heart, I think you said, why don't you just commit to one and choose to be faithful? to her I'm just not wired that way I spent my whole 20s trying to fix myself mm -hmm. you're, you're wrong self control you you work out you do business yeah, yeah, yeah. you can possess your own your own power it's and do not, direct it's just, it the way it's just you want to direct I am. it it's not how I am I've you tried. think that might be a limited mindset I think it's none of your business, but I don't want you to think I'm triggered by you. I'm not. Okay. I saw somebody say that, and I think that's interesting. I think you're annoying, but I'm not triggered. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? No, you are. You're annoying <laughs> in, in like this goody two-shoes type way, and that's fine. Uh, I'm going to live my life on my terms, unapolog uh, unapologetically, mm -hmm. like truly. So uh, you can ask me this 85 different ways. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I'm going to walk out of here the same man. Mm -hmm. And any woman in my life that you either accept that or leave, and that's not a threat. That's, hey, this this is what I offer. If that works for you, okay. If it doesn't, you can go. There's plenty of people that, that are in hot wife relationships. Mm -hmm. They're swingers. They're gay. None of those people get questioned the way I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. None of those people get questioned the way I do. I'm one of very few men that can actually come out and, I, and on, my, on the top of my head, there's probably a handful. The Tate brothers being some of them. Mm -hmm. And then a couple of my other friends that can actually openly say, this is how I'm going to live. I'm going to live on my terms. And guess what? Women don't leave us for it. I cannot think of a woman that has left me over telling them that. Yeah, some women like that. Yeah, some of them are like, oh my God, that's so sexy. So no woman yeah. wants a man that other women don't want. And yeah. by and largely, I think that women are attracted to it, that little bit of dread in them, that little bit of competition. And I don't mind providing that atmosphere for them at all. And I'm not sorry.